Damn those guys that came up here were eloquent, weren't they? I don't have as much to say. Um, Coach Day was right. Um, I didn't get here by myself. Um, I had a lot of help. Um, my wife, who my son calls St. Mary, we've been married 42 years in November, and anybody married to me 42 years has got to be a saint. <laughs> tonight. Uh, my two sons, who I'm very proud of, they've given me grandchildren, who do call me Pop Pop, and I love it. Um, I want to thank the members of the board, Doc Dubeck, and uh, Mr. Camisa, and Carmen, and if I'm forgetting somebody else over there, I, and, and Ted, thanks very much for, for this nomination and for this induction. Um, Ricky Shook called me the grandfather of uh, Danbury Wrestling. If I'm the grandfather of Danbury Wrestling, then my good friend who helped me to succeed is the father of Danbury Wrestling, and that's my really good friend, John Nimick, who's here tonight. Thank you, John. John made me go to Pennsylvania one year, and we found out that we didn't know anything about wrestling. <laughs> we came home and we threw everything out and we started all over again. And uh, what we have today is Danbury Wrestling. And uh, as I say, I'm the grandfather and John is the, uh, the father and Ricky is the adopted child that nobody wanted. <laughs> <laughs> and they still don't want him. <laughs> I've been wrestling, I've uh, been wrestling coach for 20 years and I've refereed now for 19 and I'm going to referee one more year and I'm going to hang it up. I think 2020 is enough, but uh, I've enjoyed every moment of it. The people who came to see me here tonight, I haven't seen some of them in a long time, all of my wrestlers. Thank you very much guys, I enjoyed every damn minute of it, even though you didn't. <laughs> Good night folks, thank you.